Santa Claus was released in 1925. It's a short film. It's about 30 minutes. And the premise of this film is that two children, Christmas Eve, they want to see Santa. So they wait until their parents are asleep and they go downstairs, they wait on the couch. And when Santa shows up, they ask him all these questions about the North Pole. And now I had a lot of trouble finding information on this movie. And I'm sure that the big problem, because I couldn't find where exactly this film is from. And I'm sure that the big problem here was because this film was shot on location in Alaska. And of course, at that time, Alaska did not was not part of America. And um, the shots are beautiful, absolutely wonderful. And um, and so uh, Santa's talking about you know, his, his Arctic land and <laughs> everything. And he talks about his workshop, which I absolutely loved seeing those toys, you know? And um, of course I, I love seeing vintage anything. So <laughs> I, I especially loved the little scene where he's talking to, to one of the, the elves asking if the train would actually work. <laughs> <laughs> and um and of course at this time people were all about planes and and locomotives and and those and so the one of the well the little boy asked if he came by sleigh or by an aeroplane <laughs> and um and everything. Now, the one thing that I, I did have a problem with was I felt like the writers put too much emphasis on like the the mythical side to it. That you know, they were talking about the like Jack Frost, which I, I liked that they put that aspect to it, that, that Jack Frost was there and and that there were goblins and everything that would try to come into his uh realm and and try to take the the toys away from the the children and and that sort of thing. It makes it a little more realistic, and everything that he would have that, that Santa would have problems as well. But then when they they threw in this whole idea of the Easter Bunny coming to visit, and everything, I don't know. I just I had a problem with that. I mean, we're used to Rise of the Guardians, and but I I don't know. I just it kind of threw me because <laughs> you're seeing a whole bunch of, of winter landscape and you see him uh, talking about his reindeer, real reindeer, <laughs> everything. And, and then all of a sudden the Easter bunny shows up. And I'm just, it, it was just, it, I felt like that didn't fit. <laughs> so that, that was my issue. I also liked the uh where he's talking about the the good children and and the bad children and and santa was saying that it it broke his heart to see the the bad children and everything and when he's working year round and everything so yeah th there were things that i had a problem with i loved the um the landscape and i also did see that Santa Claus was uh, acted by two actors. The, the one that you see in Alaska is by an Alaskan uh, actor. So, and then the one that's sitting with the children is someone else. I don't know if it's another, if it's someone from Alaska as well. I, I don't know how they did that, but the one in Alaska, and I'm sure that's because that person knows <laughs> how to deal with the snow and and everything at the time. And um, and one last thing before I close this up is that 
the person who filmed this was an explorer. He, he did some others. I'll, of course, put all that information in the description box. But the person who made this film, uh, he and his wife did a lot of exploring throughout the Arctic and decided to do this holiday film as well. Um, so something fun for, for the children, <laughs> I'm sure. But um, yeah, I, I had a really hard time finding a lot of information. If you have any information, I would love to hear it. And um, just, the, I, I just, the main thing was that Easter bunny thing, because they were, but and, and there were parts of it that they were putting a little too much of the, uh, the wintry mythical side to it. it. It did drag a little bit for me, but I'm sure that back then people absolutely enjoyed it and, um, and everything. I loved the, the, uh, seeing the Alaska landscape and everything. It was, it was wonderful. And, uh, you got to see a lot of it, the, the panning, you know, the panorama views and everything. It was wonderful. So it was worth it for all that. <laughs> so anyway, that was Santa Claus from 1925.